Please subscribe, like, and share. It really helps us out. And of course, if you have any questions, comment below and we will answer you as soon as we can. Welcome to the next of our videos in our series on IGCSE Geography. This is episode 3.4. In today's lesson, we will be learning about tourism. If you haven't seen our previous videos, click on the card above. Firstly, let's talk about the growth in tourism. In 2010, 940 million people were recorded as arriving in a country from abroad because of tourism. This is worth $919 billion, making tourism one of the world's largest industries. But now, amid the global pandemic with borders closed, this figure is rapidly shrinking. This is placing a huge economic pressure on countries with large portions of their GDP coming from tourism. Tourism is also one of the world's fastest growing industries. In 2010, the Middle East and Asia had the greatest growth of tourists. Europe still has the greatest number of tourists, nearly 500 million in 2010. The tourism industry therefore is very important to economic growth as well as the environment. Tourism can help a country's economy and infrastructure. For example, it provides jobs. Some countries such as the Caribbean have tourism as their main source of income. There are many factors that help explain the growth in tourism. More affluence, since 1950 people have become wealthier. There is more disposable income. People also now have paid time off work for holidays. Greater awareness, this is through advertising or television programs people are more aware of how, and new places they can spend their free time. More car ownership, more families own a car. This gives greater freedom to choose when and where to spend time. Improvements in technology, traveling today is much quicker. Motorways and aircraft have helped reduce the time it takes to get to different countries. Traveling by air has become more accessible as you can book online and choose more budget options. More leisure time, people have paid holidays from work, on average three weeks per year are paid. Also people who are retired remain active for longer. There is also a trend to take more than one holiday in a year. More choice, in the past seaside holidays and package holidays were the most popular. The industry is seeing more people look at ecotourism and more unusual holiday destinations. The human and physical resources found in a particular place often influence tourism to a particular destination. Human resources are tourist attractions that have been made by people, such as the Eiffel Tower in France. Physical resources are the attractions that have been made by nature such as beaches or lakes. According to a recent survey of British people traveling within the UK, the activity that people like to do the most while on holiday is walking. Walking allows people to enjoy the physical resources of the countryside such as hills, rivers and lakes. The second most popular activity was visiting heritage sites. This includes historical buildings and sites of historic significance. These are human resources. The third most popular activity was swimming. People like to swim at the beach or in lakes, physical resources, or swimming pools, which are human resources. Other popular activities were visiting art exhibitions, watching performing arts and visiting theme parks, all of which are human resources. Types of man-made tourist attractions in the UK include Art Architecture Cultural monuments Museums Local traditions Food and drink Music and drama Important historical or political sites This table shows that tourists in London are attracted to many different types of man-made tourist attractions. There are many different types of tourist attractions that people may find appealing. And over time, preferences and fashions may change. Let's look at tourist attractions around the world. The Eiffel Tower in Paris is an example of a cultural monument and a place of architectural interest. 
as well as admiring it from ground level, tourists can go to the top and see a great view of Paris, including the River Seine, a wonderful physical resource, and many beautiful buildings, which are human resources. Robben Island in South Africa is an example of a historical or political site. Many people who visit South Africa go to Robben Island to see where Nelson Mandela spent most of his 27 years in prison. People are interested because Nelson Mandela's struggle and sacrifice helped end apartheid in South Africa. Physical resources are the natural features of an area which might attract tourists, such as physical landscapes, such as beaches, mountains, rivers, lakes and glaciers. Ecosystems, such as rainforest or tropical grasslands. Weather and climate, most tourists seem to like it warm and dry. During our next few geography videos, we will be doing case studies of tourism in different countries. This ranges from less economically developed to more economically developed countries. Thank you for watching our video. Please like, subscribe and share. And comment below so we can clarify things for you.